Are the New York Knicks really making a big splash happen? What's going on guys? Welcome to Clutch Ball TV. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night and today I'm going to be talking about an article that came out that the Knicks apparently they're going to try to make that big splash in this offseason specifically the draft. Of course if you take a look at this draft it's not one of the best drafts, of course, compared to past years, especially last year. Of uh, We knew the definite three picks of Zion Williamson, John Morant, RJ Barrett. There was even very solid guys, of course, that really showed what they're capable of in the tournament and their regular season of college basketball. If it's DeAndre Hunter from Virginia, the flashes of a guy, of course, who went to the national championship game of Jarrett Culver. You already know the sum up of the 2019 NBA draft. We know there was a definite prospect in the top three, or we knew the order. We knew who was going one. We knew who was going two. We knew we knew who was going three. And in the 2020 NBA draft, we don't know that. We don't know if it's going to be Anthony Edwards. We don't know if it's going to be Lamelo Ball. We don't know if it's going to be James Wiseman. And of course, the Knicks holding the eighth overall pick in the draft should be very interesting. There is some, of, of course, speculation. We're going to take Devin Vassell. We're going to take Kyra Lewis Jr. We might trade down. Like Some people even like Patrick Williams. Shout out to Big Stack Sports. Zingas does a great job on the Through the Wire podcast with Kenny. And just everyone on that podcast. They're just absolutely amazing. They know their stuff and it's so entertaining. And such a down-to-earth, just amazing podcast. But yes, apparently we're making the splash move. But how are we going to make the splash move? Are we going to trade down, try to get more assets? Are we going to trade for a star or a star to them? I don't even know what a star is to the New York Knicks anymore. But I do think we're starting to move in the right direction, knock on wood. We'll see what direction we move in in this draft if we try to move up and get a LaMelo Ball. But I think getting LaMelo Ball is very scary. Don't get me wrong, LaMelo Ball is a great passer of the basketball. I think he's way more... Uh, He's better than Lonzo, his brother, when it comes to creating for himself because he's more shifty. He's better at creating separation. He doesn't need screens as much of a guy, as a guy like Lonzo Ball, his brother. And I think Lonzo Ball is a better defender coming in, was a better defender coming in. I think Lamelo is going to struggle on the defense of the basketball. I think he is um, a reliable defender when he shows effort on that side of the basketball. But his shot selection, he's not a definite prospect. I don't know if I would trade away Mitchell Robinson, even if Mitch isn't like the next Patrick Ewing, which he's not. Patrick Ewing is a rare breed. He was the first overall pick for a reason, and there's a reason why Knicks fans, there was a reason why the NBA world went crazy when they got the first overall pick in the lottery, because he was a beast, he was a beast out of Georgetown, and this whole thing, while Mitch Robinson just might be a very solid piece for the future, great athlete, good at guarding the perimeter, future all-defensive team player for sure, but LaMelo Ball is not definite to be an all-star. He could very easily be a bust. I think he's more intangibles and he has more like more of an NBA ready profile or no Cole Anthony's stronger than LaMelo but when I'm talking about um, long wingspan on the defense of the basketball being a taller type of point guard in today's NBA yes I get all of that I get the intangibles I get like the frame of the long wingspan and just like the flashy style of play but I really hate these NBA fans that are like LaMelo Ball is so talented like he's so talented like he has mistakes, but he'll fix them. But some people don't even think Cole Anthony's mistakes will be fixed. I know there's going to be some rants on Cole Anthony. I'm not the biggest of Cole Anthony fan, but he has talent and he has mistakes. And he could fix those mistakes with coaching. People were acting like LaMelo's automatically going to be fixed, but Cole Anthony can't be fixed. But I made a Cole Anthony video. Make sure to check that out. I'll leave the link down below in the description. But I don't know if we're going to end up trading Mitchell Robinson on draft night. I'm, I'm not a big fan of trading up. Like, what's the Knicks' definition of making a big splash move. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's moving up getting LaMelo Ball? You think it's moving up only a couple spots? Like, we're really in love with Killian Hayes. I don't know if we're really in love with anyone. This is the first draft in the last few years. I'm like, who are we going to draft? Like, I had a feeling we we're going to draft Kevin Knox. I had a feeling we we're going to draft Frank Nielakina. I just made sure I did my European research, of course, because of Phil Jackson. Like, just I'd have, we knew we were going to draft RJ Barrett at the end of the day. It's just like... What splash, though? The Knicks tried to make splashes before in the offseason, didn't get Kevin Durant, ended up with Julius Randle, um, signed a lot of guys. A lot of people just, like, I thought it was a push narrative with the power forward position and getting certain guys when they were just on a bunch of one-year deals short-term, and I think we did a great job with the cap space for the future when putting together those deals, but is it going after a Chris Paul, like, what is going to be the big splash move? Like, what's the splash move to the New York Knicks? I don't believe in the mellow ball. Um, LaMelo Ball is very talented. He's taken for his high potential and ceiling. 
But will the Knicks, like, have the balls and be like, you know what? We're going to trade up and get LaMelo Ball. Like, Leon Rose is going to be like, I have so much confidence in this new coaching staff developing players. We're going to take them. Or we, or we just going to, like, roll the dice and be like, you know what? We're taking Cole Anthony. That was all smoke. Because this is the draft. You can take a risk. There's no definite great prospect. I think there's going to be a bunch of steals after the lottery. I think there's going to be a bunch of solid starters. I don't think there's going to be a superstar in this draft. Like some people think Zion's going to be or John Moran or RJ might be in this be this all-star or a very solid starter for a long time. And that type of thing. I think there's just going to be a bunch of steals after the lottery. Very solid contributing players to championship teams that play their role very nicely. I don't think there's going to be a big time superstar. But the Knicks, you never know what their splash move is going to be. It might be just being like, you know what, we're taking Cole Anthony. I think we're going to develop him. He's he's meant to play in New York ever since high school. His father could teach him the ways. And I don't care if he parties. Like, he was in freaking college. Like, you're going to party in college. Um, If he's missing practice, that's different. But hopefully he has the right head on his shoulders. I know Greg Anthony. Um, I don't want people talking about the stuff Greg Anthony did in the past and how that affects his son's draft stock. But yeah, let me know down below, what do you think the splash move is going to be? Do you think we're going to trade up and get Wiseman? Do you think we're going to take Kyra? Do you think we're going to trade down? Like, what would the splash be? Trading Julius Randle on the dra on draft night. Just like, it's going to be interesting, whatever the Knicks do. However this unfolds, I'm really looking forward to this new regime, of course. But Leon Rose, Kenny Payne, Tom Thibodeau, Mike Woodson, Walt Perrin to see how he does doing his homework. Um, he's had good research in the past, of course, going after... Or getting guys like Paul Millsap, I believe, in the draft with the Utah Jazz, Rudy Gobert, um, Gordon Hayward. He's a good drafter for sure, and he knows talent. And knock on wood, he ends up drafting the right talent and best player for the New York Knicks moving forward. But if you enjoyed this video, be free to give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button for more content. And as always, guys, have a humble day or night. Peace out, Joe.